One of my favourite days of the entire year. This is really my bag, the Irish racing car, the Grade 1 card at Fairy House, Royal Bond Day, Hatton's Grace Day, and the Drimmore Novice Chase. Sensational stuff, and I'm gonna give you a treble here, my ideas of the winners. Well, let's start with Jeski and the Hatton's Grace. He's got to buck the trends, this. It usually goes to an older, more hardy horse. He's yet to win at the distance. Apart from that, however, he's got everything in his favour. He'll love this ground. A decent workman-like performance when he had to do all the work himself from the front. McCoy's gonna go over to right. He should just about see off the Gigginstown representative, be that rule the world or to dig out. He can step up here and prove his worth. Well, my nap of the day is gonna be Gold Bullet in the Drimmore. I love this grey horse. I've been following him since the start of his career, and I can't remember a better first time out performance over fences in recent years than when he winged around Down Royal under Ruby Walsh. He retains the ride. He looks a massive price to me at eight to one. The Royal Bond, the 1240, they're the first of the grade ones. It looks tricky, but I'm gonna just side with Alonso, ex-flat performer in France. He looked like a star in the making on his debut at Wexford. Yes, that was a stroll in the park for him. Yes, he was long odds on, but the horse he slammed by two, uh, by 22 lengths on the bridle has since come out and won a maiden. He can prove too fast for some of these ex-bumper horses. Gilt Shadow might just be the best, but the nap there is Gold Bullet. <laughs> 